I fuck with shawty cause she bought a business, ayy She independent and she on a mission, ayy Been through some shit but now it's better living, ayy What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today, we're going to do another DIY for my bedroom, and we're going to do DIY lax shelves, the Ikea lax shelves. This was very inexpensive. I had to buy two long pieces of white wood from home depot it was about eight dollars and some change a piece and i had to get some nails that's it everything else i had previously from the dresser this is a very simple project i feel like this is way better than spending 60 or so dollars at ikea and then having to wait maybe two months because ikea been tripping lately so let's get into it first i'm going to start sanding these pieces that they cut because they have like little loose wood on the side and I want it to look as clean cut as possible. So that's what I'm gonna do first, and then we'll get into the actual construction of the shelf. So let's get into it. Okay, so as y'all can see, it's like little wood chips, like right there, right there. The wood is just not smooth, so I'm gonna sand it just to smoothen this out a little. And I'm probably gonna put white paint over that part. Now I'm going to begin assembling the shelves. The first shelf will be placed at the top and I'm just going to draw a line across to mark where it goes when we're screwing it on. I'm also going to make three lines going down, one on the side, one on the other side, and one in the middle to mark where we need to drill our screw holes. Now to place my other shelf, I just measured each shelf a shelf length apart if that makes sense. Each shelf itself is about 11 and a half inches. So I just use the shelf as my measurement. And again, I'm gonna go in with my pencil and draw a line. And then I'm gonna make three marks for my screw holes. I'm gonna do this all the way down the length of the wood until I have enough shelf lines. <laughs> Now that I have everything marked, this is what it looks like. I have the lines for the shelf and the lines for the screw holes. Now we're just going to begin drilling our holes for the screws. This just makes it easier for the screws to go through the wood. Now to begin your shelf assembly, you want to simply place your shelf piece up to the wood piece and drill the screws in. It will be a little hard to drill those screws in, but just keep trying, you'll get it. If you have to use a hand screwdriver, do that. I had to do that. Thank you. 
that I have all my screws in I wanted to add a little extra security so I went in and filled in the extra space with nails I suggest doing this it just gives it a little more support we're almost done I just wanted to cover the brown part where the wood was cut so I'm going to use some white paint that I had left over from my dresser just to cover that part up. Okay, y'all, this is what my shelf looks like. It came out really nice. Hit the subscribe button if you think so. Hit the like button if you think so. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. This was really inexpensive. All in all, I only spent maybe $30, and that's being generous. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe right now and turn on your notification bell. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. May your curls pop and your grind never stop, Flavor Squad. I'm out of here.